Today we're going to be aging a white-tailed deer. This particular specimen was a doe, and the most obvious way that you can determine sex when you're looking at just a skull is that the does don't have any indication of horns. Even the young male bucks, even when they're fawns, they will have a ridge, they will have horn buds. This individual was most definitely a doe, not only by lack of horns, but I saw her when she was freshly killed. So even if we're just going by lack of horn buds, we can determine that this is a doe. This is a female. Now one of the ways that we can determine age is if you just have the top skull fragment. Let's forget about the lower jaws. If all you have is this, one way you can determine age is look at the skull plates. You see that there are very wide, very deep gaps. You can see very high fracture here. Now this is natural. Her plates have not fused. She's still very young. Her nasal bones, there's a very wide gap here. So it, it was like this, but from the decomp process and drying out in the weather, she's lifted up and bowed a bit. And in a more, more mature animal, this would not happen. Her nasal bones are very loose. I don't want to pull on them because if I pull this out, even though it is possible to pull it out, I'm not going to because it may be very hard to get that back in. I've struggled with quite a few mature coyotes trying to get that in, so I'm not going to try it with deer. You can see these plates here around the eye socket. Very wide gaps. This is also very wobbly, very loose. It's not broken, it's just the plates are separating, separating out. So everything is, it's pretty much the bones are disintegrating due to the fact that she was young and her plates are not fused yet. But determining age, you look at the teeth. This is how DNR officers, wildlife rangers, this is how they determine the age of a deer. And you can see there's very little wear on her teeth. They're very sharp. So this was a very young animal. How young? She wasn't a fawn because she does have all of her teeth showing. But you can tell she was less than a year and a half and older than eight months by this tooth here. It's erupting, but it's not all the way there. You can see right here there is part of this tooth erupting right through the jawbone material. So she was still teething. Her teeth were still coming out through. I estimate her, her age at about one year. And that is because looking at the charts that are used, they, they determine age in year and a half increments. They have fawn, one year and a half, two year and a half, three year and a half. Her tooth wear, her teeth coming down, is in between the fawn stage and the year and a half stage. Going by the lower jaws, it's the same thing. Tooth number six, it's erupted, but it is between the fawn and the year and a half stage. Now fawn stage, this tooth won't even be here. It'll be completely bone up to tooth five. There's a tooth missing here, by the way. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and then number six. Tooth number six, it's just a little less than half erupted. In the gum line, you'd see it about there. So it'd be even less than that when it's through the gums. So she was about a year old. See very, very little wear here. And even once this tooth number six has erupted, you'll be able to determine the age of deer by the wear. Now I don't have the, there's no wear pattern on this. So we just have to imagine 
the points will go. The points will come off first, and then it'll start wearing lower and lower, and it will be like a tree trunk. You'll see at, once this white enamel is gone, there's a yellow, yellowish to orange color that will be through this, and it'll be very similar to a tree trunk. And the more of this that's showing, and the smaller the enamel, the older the deer. There's some pretty interesting charts online if you go on to a, um, any website that deals with census and other life facts about white-tailed deer. They should have a chart on age determination. And see, this piece just come right out. So you can see it's, it's not broken. It's just not fused. The trick is knowing how it goes back together. There's a little puzzle piece in there. But I'll I'll get it when when I put her back together, I'll get everything put back together and is is sometimes it can be a very hard jigsaw puzzle putting skulls back together. But it is worth it, especially when you do what I do and you make art with these pieces. It, it's worth it to see their beauty live on through the art. But that's H termination on a white-tailed doe. Age, one year.